Hello, in this video we're going to look at competitive imbalance. We're going to look at imbalance in NBA championships over a period of time. And we're going to use the herfindahl hirschman index. So here is our championship data from 2000 through 2021. So there are 22 championships played over this time period. And again, we have the winner listed in each year. Here's the herfindahl hirschman index. The S subscript 1 is the number of champions won by Team 1 over this time period. S subscript 2, number of champions won by Team 2 over this time period, and so on. And then S subscript T is the number of championships played over this time period. So again, 22 championships were played. So first gathering data on how many champions were won by each team over this time period. See Boston won one. Detroit 1, Golden State 3, Los Angeles 6, and so on. And then our next step is to take the number of championships won by a team and divide it by 22. So that is its share of the champions won. So 1 divided by 22, 1 divided by 22, 6 divided by 22 is 0 0.27, or almost 30% of the championships were won by the Lakers over this time period. And then in our final column, we're just squaring that share term, so 0 0.045 squaring that, we get this result. So if we're to add up all these values in this last column, we'd get 0 0.157. Now let's apply this information in this table to our formula. So we take this 0 0.157, Okay, that's going to be what we have in brackets here, all summed up. And then multiplying it by 10,000, which is out in front, we have our HHI of, of 1,570.25. So according to the Department of Justice, uh, if this was any other industry, it would be considered moderately concentrated. And what would be nice then would be to compare this HHI across leagues to see where we have more championship imbalance. Is it in the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League, uh, and so on. Okay, I will stop here.